So Count on Yourself, Take Charge of Your Money by Allison Griffiths. So, and it's for Canadian investors. And you can, in the back there is a little bit of information about like US kind of things. So like if you're doing Canadian and some US stuff, you got that, she explains that. And funny thing, <laughs> list price, in the US it's still cheaper for this Canadian book. But yeah, simple steps to managing your money and growing your investments. So it is more of the investment side of money. It isn't fully a personal finance book. Yeah, investments are per part of the personal finance realm, but this does focus on the investment options and how to do them. So there's like four different parts. Money, the final taboo, get organized, make a plan, take take action. So within the chapters of those four parts, you're like, okay, she, she's like, okay, here's how to do all these things to make your money like more streamlined work for you and all this other stuff. So there's a few case studies to show uh, the po her point and examples to to give like the more into the topics and case studies. And it does talk about different things relating to Canadian personal finance. Again, more on the investment part of it. And like I said, there in part four, that's where the U.S. kind of U.S. portfolios and other funds come into play. There's uh, some resources in the back. It's separated into four or five categories, but one or two websites each, so it isn't fully in depth of resources, but they're a starting point. So. And so if you want a book about investment investments Canadian wise, this is a book to look into. So Count on Yourself by Alison Griffiths. Happy readings.